Hello everyone, Ryan here, and uh, today we are back with another not really qualified to talk about music podcast, and uh, me and Josh are joined by Emily today, who is also Jenny Death Who, is that right, Jenny Death Who? Yes. Yeah, Jane Death Who Thank on you. Twitter. You should follow her. She has a lot of good music opinions, so we thought it'd be cool to have her on. And uh, this episode is going to be kind of like a Death Grip special. So we're going to basically be, you know, Fantano nerds and talk about Death Grips for like however long. So um, how are you both doing? Oh, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Fantano nerds. Yeah, Fantano yeah. nerds. Can I not I be labelled like that? Can I be out of that circle, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all in the same circle. No, I, I refuse. Oh, okay. I am neutral. You are neutral? Yeah, I'm like... I like Fantano. I think his opinions are great, but um, I'd, I'd prefer to be a separate from him. Not not okay. not in a way, you know, like Brad is. Like he's like, oh, I'm my own thing, you know. I'm like on a different level. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. I think it's a bit lame, honestly, to be like that into Fantano and his reviews and like agree with everything he says. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, it, it was a joke. <laughs> not like... No, we don't make jokes on this <laughs> podcast, Ryan. Oh right! Oh okay. I, okay. You, okay. I've taken everything seriously so far. Oh really? Oh, is oh, that God. not how I'm supposed to do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, how are you both doing? Good, thank you. Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, Ryan. It's we, we never get to ask how you are. We yeah. are always asking us how we are, but we never get to ask you. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's a. <laughs> How is life? It's fine. It's fine. You know, I'm I'm all right. No one asks me how I am. People <laughs> people just assume I'm all right. <laughs> it's like no, it's okay. I'm, I'm right. Yeah, it's like one of those like we just assume. You know, we watch your reviews and that's the only like take we get of you. It's like you you just all right. <laughs> yeah. You're all right. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. We always assume that enough. you're okay. Yeah, that's it's fine. So um, yeah um. What 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 do what what are we gonna say? <laughs> oh, we're talking about death grips. It's a death grip special. Yeah. It's a death grip um, special. I'm really excited, honestly. I'm really excited. Yeah. I think this started when. Um, I can't remember if it was you or Emily gave your like top three death grips records. On Twitter. Oh, oh yeah, I think that was me. I I, I quoted. Um, I think it was uh you know Blink Clyro's tweet. Oh yeah yeah about uh, Death Grips, and I just threw my opinion in there and just put my top three. Mm. Um, yeah. What were they? Remind us. Get us started, please. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, well, my top three would be definitely... Wait, what, what's my number? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it, my top three is uh, The Money Store is number one. I guess that's an obvious one. Yeah. But I, I, I don't mind it being an obvious one because it's kind of like... You know, it's a great album, so it's not like it's an issue to have it as your favourite, really. Yeah. Uh, and then number two would have to be Ex Military. Again, it's like, it was what started them off, but I still think the sounds on that album are still insane. And um, yeah, I still love that one. And then number number three is uh, The Powers That Be. Like, both sides, I think, combined work really well. Mm-mm. Yeah. That's That's totally wrong. To- Strong list. Hold on, wait. Th- thank you, Emily, but hold on, Josh. What's going on? <laughs> you knew I was going to disagree. Don't act like I wasn't. Yeah, I, I swear you're just here to disagree. <laughs> I think like ev- no, you know what you are. You're yeah. like you're like um like a calm version of Joe Budden. Do you know wow. Joe Budden? Wow. R- yeah? No. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. You know. I disagree with that as well. Can I just disagree with everything now? What do you mean? I'm like a, a calm Joe Budden. Because like, like you're not diving across tables yeah, to shout at us. Exactly, yeah. See, Emily's right. Like you, you would uh Joe Budden would be like, you know, ready to kill DJ Academics for saying something that might be reasonable. <laughs> yeah, but can you but... <laughs> can you blame him? Could you fucking take Oh yeah, I hate DJ Academics. Can you like academics. take a look at DJ Academics' face and not want to punch him? <laughs> No, I agree. I, I hate that guy, but um, oh, but like you know, Joe Budden gets kind of riled up. But you're like you, you disagree with most things that 
people say on the podcast, but you're not like yeah. shouting. No. So I, I, that's how I see you, and I, I like that. It's cool. It's cool. I don't see you as a DJ academics. Oh no, I don't. I, I hope I am not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd. I'd may, oh, I guess now I could be Joe Budden. You could be DJ academics, and and um, Emily could just be the the girl who sits in the middle of them. I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? The girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, does anyone actually like recognize her as like the a part of the podcast? Uh, that uh, part of the um the show. Like she doesn't really. Uh, she just like sits in between them and like every now and again says something. What's her name? I forgot, but uh, yeah, that, see, yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is good in one of the episodes where academics cries like a baby and she's like arguing with him. Like there's there's one time where she's really great. <laughs> but yeah, you're you're right. I've just realised Emily probably doesn't know what we're talking about. No, she does. Do you, Emily? S- uh, sort of briefly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Emily, oh yeah. Would, would you agree or disagree with Ryan's? And and what would you agree with? You know what what that list he gave the 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 list of the three records. What would you agree? What would you disagree with there? Um, definitely Money Store mm. and Ex Military. Okay, that's what you'd agree with. Okay. Yes. Okay. What would you disagree with? <laughs> I assume that <laughs> number three is the one you don't agree yes, with. Yes, but I'd, I'd like to um, know what you, what exactly you're replacing that with. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I don't, maybe, like, mm, either No Love or Bottomless Pit. Mm. But it's, it's a difficult <laughs> decision. Right. Because I like, I revisit Bottomless Pit more. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> but like, I think No Love's like, it's really good. It's like really heavy mm-hmm. and underrated. Yeah. Is I it, agree with that. Is it... we, we, we are not decided on third place no. yet. No. Is it underrated though? Well, yeah. Is No Love underrated? I, I thought like. Well. I don't know. I don't really see people talking about yeah, it. I, I agree, actually. I think Emily's yeah. right. I think the only reason people bring that one up is because of the album cover, usually. Right. Like, <laughs> like I don't see... like. When... Yeah, it has a reputation. Yeah, well, like, that, got, that's... Why people got that... problems with dicks on album covers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good point, but... Um, like, you know... You know but you... It, it, I mean, it looks like a decent dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It, no, um, it's right. like an 8 out of 10. Uh, the al- yeah, it's like, like the <laughs> album's a ten out of ten. But the, the dick, oh, it's, it's not as good. No, <laughs> no I mean, Ryan's like, like, like rating of... dicks on record covers. Like, there's not no, no, enough. No, no. no um, <laughs> the the yeah, the album like is less talked about than others. Maybe not underrated because I feel like every Death Grips album, everyone like raves about. Like, no one's yeah really say no one says bad things about Death Grips usually unless. They hate Death Grips because they don't like the sound, but like fans of Death Grips love No Love Deep Web, mm. but they don't talk about it as much as uh, the other albums, I don't think. Um, okay, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just like out of the loop, I guess. I don't, mm. I don't see people talk much about government plates. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, that's because nobody likes it. Yeah. Do you not like it? Um, uh, <laughs> yes. I feel like em- Emily is not as strongly opinionated. I do, but opinionated. It, it gets really bad. That's <laughs> <laughs> what? Emily is not as strongly opinionated as me or you. <laughs> no, no. That... All right, then. <laughs> I just feel... No. no well... Let's be nice to our guests. I'm, I'm new here. Okay, exactly. I'm sorry. You're new you here. just sound very undecided, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, right. Yeah, right. I only listen... Do you like government Go? plates? Do you like them? Well, I actually have to announce something. I only listened to it for the first time today, <laughs> um, which I put on Twitter. But um, right. before that, I just avoided it because everyone said it was like the worst album. So I was just like, well, can I be bothered? But then I listened to it and I, I didn't think much of it. But there's only one listen. Yeah. See, yeah. that's weird because like, if somebody says, oh, this album is somebody's worst album, 
I'll go to that. I'll listen to that shit like immediately. Really? Yeah. It is. It is like it is like their worst, but like it has some of their most interesting songs in my I agree. opinion. Right. Yeah. Like the first, the first three songs. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got some. I, I mean, you're always gonna find something with a Death Grips album. You know, mm. there's always yeah. gonna be something that you'll like take away with it from it. Sorry. Um, I don't think Government Plates is. Uh, yeah. I'm be- I'm getting undecided now. Cause I want to say it's not the worst, but like I'm trying to find reasons why it isn't. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, what is the worst? They if have that like. One isn't? Mm. I don't. I don't really know how to um rank them because they have like they have that interview EP right. thing. Yeah. And they have Fashion Week, and it, uh, it's just really yeah. confusing. Like, yeah, that's a good point. It's true, like, Fashion Week... I mean, how fucking often does anyone listen to Fashion Week? Like, it's just instrumentals. And even <laughs> and even yeah, though, yeah. like, I love Death Grips in- instrumentals, I think, you know, it's a part... It was it was a hype yeah. album yeah. for um, Jenny Depp. Yeah, I was going to say that was what that was for. Yeah, it, was, it was. I don't really know if we can count that one. But we can, but... Yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. Yeah. It would count... Ca- it does have some interesting songs. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it'd kind of be like you know counting that mix they did last year because that wasn't that like thirty six minutes long. Oh, um, the steroids. Yeah. Uh, no, it was like twenty. Yeah, 20 uh, okay. yeah, it was just over twenty so minutes. I, I guess that was. It like, was real cool. It, it was yeah, it was cool. Like, but it was it was like you could like if you listen carefully you can like divide it into songs you can. but they kind of like put it yeah, together so I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah. somebody on reddit like separated the um the mp4s mp3s yeah. sorry yeah and, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but i mean i didn't care about it enough to like go through that action of like separating the songs yeah i listened to it a few times mm. yeah oh, it was I'm cool i'm not crazy on it I, yeah, I liked it a lot I, I don't i don't know where they're going from there though i don't know if that's like the next step yeah, me people neither. Are, it's yeah. hard to tell. I, I, if you like look on Reddit, people are like making memes about you know when the next album is coming and stuff like that. Like people are super, like pissed off that they haven't gotten it mm. already. But it's isn't. I mean, I'm I'm breaking off Death Grips here. It's just a little topic, I guess. Don't you think it's weird how like we can't wait fucking and you know a year for another record. Like, the last Death Grips album came out two years ago. But, like, I would, you know, ten or so years ago, bands wouldn't release albums for three, four years, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, a, especially a lot of bands in the <clears throat> indie scene. Yeah. Um, it's it's so weird how, like, we can't wait, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I, I don't know what's happened, really. Uh, something's happened to our attention span, so, like, it's really bad. Yeah, it's uh, it's the internet, probably. Yeah, I think, I'd say that's. I think the it could also cause. just be, like, a lot of music. It's weird how, like, we have a lot of music to listen to. We have music, like, daily coming out, especially if you follow mm. Bandcamp. Yet, yeah. Yet, we're getting more impatient. Like, I don't get how the those two sort of, you know, collide. Mm. I don't know. It's really strange. I don't know. But, like, everybody, yeah, everybody is, like, on the edge of the seat for this new Death Grips album, which, you know, that he, they haven't even hinted at or anything like that. Exactly, you know? yeah. It's because, it's because, like, they're really spontaneous. Yeah. yeah. Like, you just don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I, d- I, I don't mind waiting, though. I'm not that kind of fan. <laughs> no, I'm not really. It, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't mean em- like em- that. Emily's like literally on the end of her bed right now, like yeah, she's... waiting. <laughs> she's got notifications on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. For... Yeah, yeah, she's waiting for this podcast to be over so she can just go on Reddit and <laughs> type things about it. I don't know what Reddit is. You know thank you. Reddit? Uh, you're probably better off for it, honestly. Yeah, actually, yeah, just just don't. Reddit's Reddit, sometimes quite interesting. I tell you what, like Reddit's a good place if you want to keep in the loop. Yeah. Um, I follow yeah. only a small amount of things on Reddit, and and that keep you know that gives me enough. Um, I. I would have to filter like ninety yeah, percent. Yeah, never troll through Reddit. It's um, <laughs> like you're gonna find some weird things. Yeah. Very strange Look, things. If you stick to just the music side of it, though, it's, it's usually it's right. fine. Yeah. It's usually yeah. Right. There's memes and stuff, but it's 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 vanilla. <laughs> 
It's quite vanilla. Death Grips fans are like terrible. Though. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. Awful. They are insane. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I think inter- the internet ones are. Any any Death Grips fan I've met in real life seems seems all right. <laughs> <laughs> You've met the them? the real life yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, I've never met anyone. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I've met like you know a few, I guess. But I'm not like you know not off of the internet. I haven't like messaged them to say, "Hey, do you want to come and chill with me?" Because we're both Death Grip fans. I mean, like any no. anyone I've like ran into, you know, someone from uni, yeah, yeah. someone from uni yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, and they're not, you know, they're they're obviously like sad. You know, you know what I mean. What just just sad in general? Yeah, they just like look oh. like they spend a lot of time in their bedroom. Okay. okay. You know, if you do, you know, do you like get what I mean? <laughs> I think so. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, t- I tend not to generalize patterns. I generalize them all the time. Okay. It's so hard not to put them in categories. I mean, it's funny just for like the stereotype. That's what um, I mean. I do it for my generally... own like sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, Josh, you're gonna have to announce your top three because you were so angry at mine. I wasn't in angry. a very Joe Budden type way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I wasn't angry. Okay, okay. I was okay. not angry. Um. Um. Okay. So num- Yeah. Number one. Uh, money store. Uh, again, okay, we got something. Like, right. Well. I, f- I mean, fuck, fuck you if you don't think it's the best one. I mean, I don't understand how you couldn't. It's I know, yeah, me too. I'm the same, you know. It's like, weird, isn't when it? When bottomless, p- yeah, bottomless pit pit came out, people were like this might be the best. No, Death Grips album. no. I was just like, n- no, no, no. That's... But, I mean, I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I like bottom- bottomless pit quite a bit. I think I I like it a lot more than a lot of Death Grips fans do. Um, you know, on mm. on that Facebook page, Death Grips trash posting. Like I, oh, yeah. I always see people like shitting on Bottomless Pit. Um, really? Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, it's so weird. I, yeah, but they yet yeah, they sort of really love the Money Store. I mean, they're both kind mm. of like you know more catchier releases from Death Grips. You know, mm. I think they're the catchier of the, you know the records. Uh, yeah, where they follow a verse chorus, you know, structure. Yeah in a sense yeah. um the second second i probably put no love no love really yeah i put no love um okay and and i would i'll say this now ex-military ain't showing up here in my top three really yeah nowhere near nowhere near is it showing up nowhere near no well there's only like seven albums so it can't be that far yeah well <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm doing three, so you know, yeah. three out of seven. It's it's no, Sorry. it's it's not anywhere near um, three. Um, the third one, and here's where I start to get undecided. I I stop um, trying to make decisions. I th- oh come on, guys. I think I I think <laughs> I so undecided. Uh, I think I would put bottomless pit there. I, oh yeah, right. I put bottomless pit. Ah. Interesting, but you were just saying that you thought it wasn't as good. No, I said that I think I like it a lot more than Death Grips fans oh. do. Oh yeah, you did say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. you did. Sorry, I yeah. D- I, yeah, you did. And it's like you know, very close next to it is Powers the B, but I just mm. I just don't think Powers the B is. Um, how do I put this? Um. I don't want to say catchy, if you know what I mean. I don't. I just don't think it clicks as well as Bottomless Pit has yeah. has for me. I, yeah, I can see that. Um, maybe because it's catchier. I don't know. I just think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would say that would be the case. I just, I love like the first half, you know, with like all the yeah. weird Bjork samples. Yeah, like, yeah I, I totally. find that so weird to listen to, and it just like I don't know. It just hits a place that not much, not much else can. I don't think in terms of music, it's just such like a weird experience and then like the second half is it's kind of there are, there are some catchy tracks in the second half um like uh, uh the uh, first it was it i break um what is it i break mirrors in in the united states yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that like that song that comes on <laughs> <laughs> so insane <laughs> 
Like, it's just like, whoa! Like, where did this come from? And then the second song, Inanimate Sensation, yeah. is just the w- most insane song. Yeah. Oh, man, that song is crazy. I don't want to be, like... Yeah. I don't want to be normy about it, but I just think it's too long. Oh, really? Yeah? Yeah, yeah I just think I just think two sides is too long. I think it's... Yeah, but... It's too long for you me. You can split it, though. Like... I mean, like you can easily split them I mean, and listen to I them act- separately. I tr- I it's true. It's true. Yeah. I actually do have them like split. Um, yeah, yeah. Although as as projects by themselves, I actually don't think they hold up. I know I'm be like being. I'm going against my point here, but like as mm. two projects, a separate project, I don't think they stand as well as they do together. Uh, e- oh yeah, yeah. I see that. Um, yeah, and I guess if you don't, if you think it's too long, then you don't really ever play them together pretty much so. pretty much so yeah. i just don't return to them very much i return to bottom, yeah. i've returned to bottomless pit like all the time though yeah fair enough especially um under the first the first few tracks i uh, maybe maybe air you know people i know that people don't like air because it's a very mm. like basic song yeah i didn't really like that one really <laughs> yeah see loads of people don't yeah. like that I I actually um, I actually fuck with it. I actually fuck with it. I think it's all right. Yeah, I think Hothead is a bit out of place on that album too. Mm. Like that's one of the things with that album. I felt like that that track just didn't fix. Like that was the first song, wasn't it? I think when they you know for the album. Uh, it it was the second. Oh, I agree. I think it would fit more on um, Powers That Be. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I think so. It's not as. Catchy. What was the first song, Emily? Well, um. Um, giving giving bad people. Oh yeah, 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 it was that one. Yeah, oh yeah, it was that one. That's a great yeah, song. It's really yeah. good. I, I, and that was um one. I mean, I'll, I'll admit here, I haven't been into Death Grips, maybe as long as you guys have. But like, giving bad people good ideas is one of the first tracks I ever heard, and mm. um mm-hmm. and it was just like that guitar, you know, really heavy guitar that it sort of starts with. Or the or like the heavy, it's got like a you know a heavy rock beginning after the mm. you know the intro, and man, it just fucking it just mm-hmm. fucking blew me away because I was expect yeah. I was expecting like nothing like that you know I don't yeah. to be honest I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, it blew me away, but I do, I remember not liking the album. Right, uh, and I don't know maybe I was just being like normy. You know, mm. oh, I, can we use normie? Yeah. I feel like is it is that kind of offensive? No, it, it offends me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I, I say it all the time. Yeah. But like, well, I don't. Oh, not all the time, actually. I do. I say it ironically, like with my friends yeah. and stuff. I just but, don't want to be mean. Yeah. I don't want to be mean to people who listen to you know other music than me. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the thing with death. See, is that is that a shit specific? Is that something Joe Budden would say? Don't think so. Yes. It is. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> I heard, I heard him say it once. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, no, it's all right. But um, yeah. What, what? So let's talk about ex-military then. What, like, um, what is what? What don't you like about it, Josh? Or what? What do you like less about it? What is it? I think it's the production that kills it for me. Right. Okay. I think production is terrible. I don't think it's what. Yeah. I don't. I don't think the production is good at all. I just don't. Um, what? Excuse me. Yeah. All right, jo- Joe, you're gonna have to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think it is. I don't know. I like the album. I'm not saying I hate. It. I think the production gives it something different, you know, to the other records. But mm. I just I don't think um, it's as clean, um, you know, as the Money Store or anything. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Well, like nothing is, but like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is like all the samples and everything. It is all over the place. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. It just isn't as compositionally sort of sound. I think that it mm. just puts me off it. When was the last time you heard it? I actually heard it. I think yeah. I listened to it on the way to work about two weeks ago. So oh, right, okay, I, so it's recent. I mean, I've I've okay. recently listened to them all. Um, just to, oh, right. yeah. you know, in, pre- in preparation. Yeah, for this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's good. Yeah, I fucking take this job seriously. 
<laughs> this unpaid job. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm. If, if, I'm sorry. I am the co-host of um, a podcast on a small YouTube channel. That's what I tell restaurants when they say they've got they've got no seats. And I'm like, uh, um, I'm sorry. Have you seen Have you seen my small rant about Kendrick Lamar's dam on YouTube? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll wait for my seat, please. Uh, nice. Yeah, no. Yeah, I listened to it um, recently. I listened to them more recently. And yeah, that's kind of why... Yeah, that's, kind of why that's it, pretty much. I do like the album. Mm. I think it's... I actually think it's... You know, stands out to the rest of them. You know, if mm. that's possible. You know? Because they, yeah. they all stand out in their own unique way. I think that stands out way more. Um, if you listen to them all together. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get what you mean. I, I love the production <laughs> of the album. Mm. I think it's awesome. Like, I love how, like, sparse yeah, it too. is. Like, like, just there's so many mm. songs that, like, so, like, like, he's just yelling and then, like, like it's kind of quiet in the background but then something comes in. It's just, like, it's, like, I don't know. I just love the way it all comes together. It's weird, but it's cool. Yeah, like, Through the Walls yeah. and Clinker and Tachyon as oh, well. Oh, I know. Crazy. Just insane song. That song like bangs. Yeah, I suppose it really. Does. I suppose it's got like a raw aesthetic to it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is like Wh- quite which, tribal. Yeah, I which guess. I do like. I like that a lot. Do you like? Do you like the pristine, the pristine production? I like. I, albums. Yeah, I. I've got to say, it. De- it depends <laughs> where it's coming from, right? I can listen to the Ramones, even though like the production is shit. It, it works for them, you know? Like, early pop, yeah. early punk yeah. bands I can accept because that's just that's just the <laughs> aesthetic of that time. That's, you know, how that worked. Um, but, as, you know, when it comes to Death Grips, yeah, I think the Money, the money Store, Bottomless Pit, you know, No Love, No Love maybe a, a bit less, um, but they're, mm. you know, they're all pretty tight, compact, consistent, um, production and that keeps me in tune a lot more, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair. See, Fair. I've got I've got actual like backups here. I'm not just saying if I'm not just trying. <laughs> oh to, no. I'm not just <laughs> trying to offend people. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I, we trust you, Josh. Don't worry. Am I actually becoming a Joe Budden? No, no. Oh man, I really, I really shouldn't have said that. No. Just, uh, no. <laughs> Dude, yep. don't worry. Don't worry, it. you no. haven't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I hope not. Hope not. Yet. No, but if we're anything like an uh, everyday struggle, then I think we're probably getting somewhere, but I don't <laughs> think we are. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'll take a while until I can get a free seat in a restaurant and, and say that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and what other al- have we not, Have we missed any albums? Um, I don't even think we've talked about... Have we talked about Jenny Death? Well, briefly, I, I talked about briefly. some. Yeah, I mentioned some of the songs on the second half that I liked a lot. Yeah. Well, no, well but, I guess yeah. we ju- we kind of talked about those two together, didn't we? Um, yeah. What? Uh, All right. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> no Emily is like quietly getting offended in the background. <laughs> <here>. What? <laughs> we said too many bad things, Emily. <laughs> what have we said? What? What mm. have we said? Oh, nothing. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't said anything that offended you no no it's good okay it's okay good. good good that's gonna come back good. to bite us ryan probably she's gonna yeah. whip it out yeah. in an argument <laughs> 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 it's like yeah but you said this before and we're gonna be like oh shit we forgot about that <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think we've missed um any albums they have a pretty you know Big discography for how long? Oh, um, oh, yeah. they did that song with um, oh, what's he called? The guy from. Oh my god, what's the band called? Uh, uh, Les Les Claypool. Oh yeah. Um, from Primus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they did. Yeah, that was they did that one song, and it was like amazing. Yeah, what, what was that called? Um, I don't know. I just remember the um. It's on YouTube. Yeah. It's just like a banana. B- banana? Just a banana? Just... Yeah, there's just like a picture of a banana. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. 
Oh, was it? Oh, more than a fairy. I've just googled it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was crazy. That song. That was amazing. Yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you hear that one, Josh? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just they dropped it. They dropped it a few All years right. ago. Right. No. Yeah, yeah. That, I see it. That was crazy. I don't know if you guys. How long have you been listening to Death Grips? Since. Sometime. Sometime. But 20, 2014, I think. Wow. Around then. Yeah. Well, not long, not really long, because they've been around since 2011, so yeah. I wasn't really on them back then. I guess not. What about you, Emily? Um, I think uh, when... I think when Jenny Death was about to okay. come out. Right, yeah. So I listened... I remember listening to um the first half. Mm-hmm. And then I went back into this discography, and I found the money store, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> that is kind of like the grabber, isn't it? Because it grabbed me. Yeah. Like, bo- yeah. Bottomless Pit, I didn't like, so I like didn't listen to it for a long time. Then I watched the Needle Drops review on the money store and decided to give that a go. And I just heard Get Got, and I was like, right, this is my life now. You know? Mm-hmm. Just the, the fever. The oh fever my is god. like... I just can't describe the fever. Yeah, yeah the fever is insane. Ugh. Yeah, I, one one track on the album, I, uh, yeah, on the album I love is a uh, hacker. Yeah. I really love that one. Yeah, that's one of my favorites yeah. as well. Yeah, everybody yeah. likes that. It's yeah. just it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah every- I think like if I think um, I don't know what would you say like is the one song that you would you would show to your friends? You know, like might not be like uh into death grips or into that kind of music what would be the one song that you'd be like okay this will make you like him if or is it not a really a song with that without um being disingenuous like disingenuous because i would probably show people eh because that's quite a yeah. normal like hip-hop track yeah um, yeah yeah but that would that would not be very genuine like that would be clickbait almost you know because yeah there's no o- yeah yeah there's no other like death grip song like that yeah. Um. I would show get got probably. I think that's pretty. Mm. That's catchy almost immediately. You know. Mhm. Or fair. Or guillotine. Yeah, yeah, guillotine. Um, because that's, I guess it's shocking, but it's also re- memorable. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That I. I would. I would probably choose one of those. Either of those two. Mm-hmm. What about you, Emily? <laughs> Um, I would um, probably go the Fever or Hacker. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Hacker would be my choice actually, but um. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I, well, I guess I've seen footage is like the obvious one, isn't it? Oh, I guess it, so, um, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, that's that's yeah. one that like when that when a uh, Jesus came out by Kanye, that was like people were referencing that song. They were oh, it just sounds like that. <laughs> oh my god. But, um, <laughs> yeah, which is a conversation for another day, I guess. It, gen- <laughs> it, it really is, isn't it? Like. That everybody com everybody <laughs> compares like any sort of experimental hip hop to Death Grips. It's like, yeah. Um, I want to I want to name a certain artist that I really love right now that has been in the back of my mind for a long time, but I think you know <laughs> who I'm talking about, Ryan. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I, who who sort of went off like on the needle drop. Um, interview on Death Grips fans for like comparing him and MC Ride. Yeah, which you know is 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 not just racist, but um. <laughs> racist? What? No, well, well they compare they comp- <laughs> they're like saying oh he's just an MC Ride wannabe, you know, in look as well as oh in look. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it honestly, if you go to, if you go on Reddit, you'll com- you'll understand. Oh yeah, but, like. Right. Yeah. And sonically, you know, uh, if nah. if anything is slightly experimental hip hop, Death Grips fans are just like, oh, oh my god, you just like you just ripping them off, you know? Yeah, it's true. It's stupid, but um, now nah, I I got more of a, a clipping vibe from Man, that album, yeah. the mid the mid city album. I think I mentioned that in my review. Yeah, I might have mentioned Death Grips, but I don't I don't know. But, I think um, it, no, but I think it's fair to like say. Oh, you might think he takes inspiration from Death Grips. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, there's. Um, I'd say I'd say like, clipping in terms of the music, but not in terms of um, 
you know the vocals and how he presents yeah, himself. His... Yeah. He's a lot he's a lot different to um What's the guy from Clipping Cold? Uh, oh. uh, uh, David David Riggs. Yeah. David, no. Yeah, David. David Diggs, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Can I just say Yeah, he's very Can I just yeah. say I love him? Like Yeah, I do too. If yeah. I he's great if guy. I could great. choose anyone to be my husband <laughs> it would be him. You know, if, I don't know if you guys watch the um Kimmy Schmidt like the Netflix show. Um yeah, is he in it? Yeah, he's in it. Like in yeah. I think in the second season and he's such he's such a lovable like actor. Like I don't yeah. I don't think you 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 know you couldn't love him, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, um, I, yeah I think it's um, yeah. But you're right, Emily. Like vocal wise, definitely, I think he, JPEG Mafia is on a, a sort of different site, a different yeah, energy. I think yeah. So yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, what what mm-hmm. else can we what else can we say about Death Grips at this point? Um. Will they be remembered? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you think? Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. As as yeah. as maybe like I don't want to say they're kind of like the internet band. Yeah. Ever, you know, the mm-hmm. most internet band ever. They are the yeah. poster boys for the internet. I would say. Mhm. Musically. Yeah. Sure. Um, so I definitely think they'll be remembered. Yeah. You know, by our generation. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's <laughs> enough like momentum behind them to like transcend it. Though I think there's like, like I think some of their albums could break through. Like if they carry on making albums, because there's so many people that love them. Yeah. I think like one day that they'll they'll manage to like somehow get a bit more mainstream attention. Whether it be a for something like ridiculous <laughs> like or like something like makes that makes them infamous that offends like old people yeah like, something like that i think is 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 in their future yeah it's weird isn't it like i think you know there are bands like there were bands like death grips who i think you know would be considered extremely offensive to older people in yeah. the 90s the 80s the 70s you know with punk with metal with like new metal um mm. offended everybody and unsurpri- <laughs> unsurprisingly um you know and death grips are yet to get to that level you know yeah Where they're offending like they're actually offending mainstream audiences <laughs> yeah um and i really want them to get to that point i want that yeah. so bad i know me too man um you know, yeah. old old men who were you know punks back in the day are like, oh, there's no um, punk music nowadays, and we're like, yes, there is, but for some reason, it's just not breaking through. Yeah. Well, they like they literally got kicked off one of their um, record labels for an album cover. So like, oh, did yeah. they actually? What? <laughs> yeah. Which one was it? But no love. <laughs> What, which one was it? <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> it's a decent dick I was telling you about. <laughs> oh, I see. This is just talking. Uh, about... can, can I just say that on the money store he has man tits? <laughs> yeah. How, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah. But this big ass dick on the cover that says no love isn't. <clears throat> Where are the standards? Yeah. I know. It's crazy, right? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like getting kicked off your label is kind of cool, but if it doesn't like I I just don't think if it doesn't reach the mainstream, it's just kind of unimportant, you know? I think um is that like when they blew up when they got kicked off their label? Cuz they were like, "Oh yeah, we're we're breaking oh, up." Oh, they said they were like, breaking up. Like yeah. they they Mm. Yeah, they wrote it on a napkin yeah. and they took a picture. Of it. And we yeah, and yeah. everybody believed it. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, they wrote it on a napkin. I mean, this is it now, you know. <laughs> they go forever. They should they should have oh. written it on Zach Hill's penis and then it would have been oh, more dear. genuine. I think they needed a bigger surface area. That is to... 
get it all. Ryan is a, Ryan is offended. He he likes uh, uh, absolutely <laughs> that that dick is a good one. I can't believe <laughs> you would offend Ryan's taste of penises. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, this is great. to answer your question, Ryan, uh, your yes. your initial question here, um, yes. I think they will be remembered. It's just yeah, yeah. I, you know, unless they break through to the mainstream, I think they'll only be remembered by the people who are actively searching for things like death grips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, and that's okay. Like, uh, usually that's enough for music nerds to be like talking about a band in years to come yeah like even if it mm-hmm. like a neutral milk hotel you know they know very they're weird. not no you wouldn't yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't ask your average person they'd be like oh yeah i've heard of them but like, it, it's it's more like the music people that know yeah but i mean it's weird that when they released airplane over the sea like it was barely touched hmm like when it was you know released and for some somehow the internet is like brought it into yeah, you know, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, like, I know, um, obviously there would have been people like the Needle Drop um, actively searching out Neutral Milk Hotel at the time. Mm. Uh, you know, music nerds. But, like, yeah, <sighs> memorable records from that age. You know, that weird time where, um, you know, the internet wasn't quite there yet. And, mm. and you know people were still doing it was very much a music industry based on CDs and sales and blah 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 yeah. oh yeah no downloads yeah. or anything um, you know it, it would have had to take the music nerds to find that album because it, yeah. it was just so I don't know I don't know what it was but classic records from that age tend to be remembered um, mm. and that album wasn't until the inter- yeah. the internet has has now all of a sudden picked it up and said, "Hey, this is a classic." Um, yeah, we've kind of made basically. It, we kind of made it a classic. Yeah, basically. Do you think there'll be any modern albums that are like that though? Like ones that have flown under the radar, but then in like five ten years, suddenly the internet's decided that they're great. Or do you not think that's going to happen? Um. Um. I'll I'll let Emily answer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't. Have there ever been any cases of that? What, I'm trying to think. In recent like... times, like. Yeah. I don't. Well, I don't know. Like. <clears> hmm. <throat> it's uh, it's hard. Like because we have the internet now, so uh, there's a billion albums being sort of made, you know, yearly. Um, yeah. We are listening to them all. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Of I listen to every single one. I, I, in fact, I don't, all of them. I don't even have a life. I have a life. <laughs> I just sit in my room listening to every album ever. But... He doesn't actually have a job. He just listens <laughs> to lots of music Basically. all the time. Basically. I don't neat. go to university. I listen to music. Yeah, yeah, yeah fail. I'm, some, I'm somehow in my third year of university, and I don't, you know, actually leave the house. <laughs> no, um, I don't think so. Honestly, I think no, no. I think the, the internet has like saturated everything to a point where there could be a hidden classic, but I, I just can't see it being picked up in the future because a billion more records have been made since then. So uh, yeah, so we've, that's thing, isn't it? we've forgotten everything at, at that yeah. point. You know, yeah, it's just how it, it will go. Mm-hmm. It's a shame. It is a shame because I, I, I think there, are, you know, there's loads of records, especially on Bandcamp, that we're just completely missing. Yeah. Um, but we can't help it, you know. We listen to what we we are advertised. You know, seeking out a record every day of your life is, you know, one that you'll like. It's hard. Yeah. You know. I, oh yeah. And especially for you, for, yeah. for you, Ryan, who you, you know, you want to be. Um, making reviews on records that people will, you know, want to hear your opinions on. So if mm. you you spend time looking for a you know a weird record on Bandcamp, and then it ends up not being very good or not being very interesting to talk about, so you've kind of yeah. wasted your time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. So like, 
it's it's that as well you know people don't want to mm. waste their time on albums that are just worthless and uninteresting mm -hmm. and there are a lot of them on the internet yeah that's, oh yeah for sure i mean i do try and try like really try to go back and just find some like smaller albums but sometimes it's just like ugh, you know like, yeah. this is just not interesting or it sounds like something else mm -hmm. which is a shame but but you know, it's just one of those things yeah we, there's a lot of music out you know not every in album can be interesting unfortunately mm. um yeah, sad. speaking of interesting albums uh yes emily what have you uh what have mm -hmm. you sort of enjoyed in the past week what's been your favorite record what has been sort of burning your ears every time you pick up your phone you want to listen to it <laughs> um um let me see let me see ryan have you got one whilst ryan. whilst emily sort of searches <laughs> searches uh, her back catalog of... oh like you know takeshi 69 <laughs> no <laughs> mm, no 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 okay. <laughs> god no um great album. i guess this past week has definitely been yeah, ten out of ten. Um, <laughs> the uh, the uh, the crisis in Elzai, a Jericho Jackson album. I like oh, that. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. I watched your review, and I I pretty I think I tweeted you saying it's in my you know listen to list. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I listened to it. I listened to it. I yeah, but you didn't like it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Like you didn't. It. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Who's Joe Budden now? <laughs> oh, yes, Emily. Okay. Um, I've been listening to New Black Milk. Oh, and yeah. US Girls. Yeah, US Girls. Ooh. And that um Raven Linnae album as well. Yeah. The uh, EP. Yeah. I love that. It's great. That's lovely. Yeah, it's really great, isn't it? I listened to that last night. Actually. Um, I just, I just have the new um Sophie song on constant oh, yeah, rotation. That's... Oh man, Sophie is. I think Sophie could be the sort of next 10 out of 10. Oh, really? Yeah. That's like that's like the album I'm like most excited for yeah. this year. Yeah. I'd I say. think Sophie could genuinely drop like a 10 out of 10. I, I can, yeah. Yeah, she's I just think like, she's capable. every new release is just, yeah. it's just mind-blowing. And, and her, yeah, produ sure. her production on pretty much anything is just amazing. Um, yeah. Definitely. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really it's really distinctive as well. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, You know when she's on a it, track, definitely. It blows me away, mm -hmm. like every time. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. But yeah, she's cool. But I think that's why I think that's why I liked um, um, Big Fish Theory so oh, right. much yeah, because yeah. had Sophie's. It um, did have. Sophie's it did sound. have like a very specific sound that I can recognize. I'll give that to Big mm. Fish Theory. Mm -hmm. You know, it's strange it's a strange album and i'd yeah i can understand why like um like og yeah. vince staple fans didn't like it but i, I loved, loved it i loved yeah. and, and i loved it for that reason alone <laughs> Honestly, piss off the other fans yeah <laughs> suck it haters. Yeah, kind of, no um i loved it mo yeah mostly for the production and you know vince is a, a solid rapper i don't think he gets enough credit i think he's humorous i think he's got yeah. his you know he's got he's got a personality that definitely shines through his music. Yeah, de yeah. Um, I just wish he didn't like repeat verses though, because on so many yeah, of the tracks, well, like he'd say a verse, yeah, yeah. and then at the end of the track, he'd say say verse. It again. Like, oh. Yeah, it's, that was a bit lazy, but it is lazy. He's cool. Yeah, he is cool. Um, a couple of records mentioned there. Um, U.S. Girls, man, I really want to like it. I want to like it so bad, but I just it's not clicking with me. Yeah, fair. Okay. Fair. Um, and that's, it's a shame. I, I think it's probably, I know how you feel about JPEG Mafia now, Ryan. Mm. You know, when people are fucking raving about this record, but you just can't, yeah. you can't get yeah. into it. And I don't, oh, yeah. I don't think it's bad. Um, I think it's, you know, all right, but I just, nothing, it's not clicking with me to the point where I want to return. Mm. Um, and I yeah. want to, you know, I want every time, you know, I like albums when I pick up my phone. I'm like, that's what I want to listen to right now. Yeah, you yeah. know, and that's not clicking for me as well as I really like it to. You know what? No, that's fine. I, I get that. I get yeah. That. What's weird about that album is her vocals, right? They kind of remind me of Kylie Minogue. 
<laughs> I said that. Yeah, really? What? I was like the first person oh my to God. say that. It's oh, the Emily's first thing. Uh, it's the OG. It's the first. <laughs> she said. It's, honest, it's honestly the first thing like I recognized about the music. What? I thought. Wow, this kind of sounds. I'm gonna have to re-listen. This sounds like early. Yeah, she she sounds like Kylie Minogue. It's weird. It's so weird. Which is great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's a it's a good yeah. thing, you know. She's. Yeah, I think it, that's a, that is a good thing. Kylie Minogue was good <laughs> back in the day, man. Kylie Minogue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big fan. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? Yeah. It's weird how, like, you know, because I hate, I um, I almost hate like every early two thousands pop song, um, because it was oh, wow. It, <laughs> every single well, one. You tell me, you tell me, yeah, every by Usher isn't song. a banger. You <laughs> yeah. tell me, you, come, come on, man, yeah, by Usher. Um, no, 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 no. Oh. Um, no. Well, okay, it's selective. <laughs> it's selective. I'm pretty picky with that era, but like. It was so shoved in my face, you know, as a child. This it was is like... how you remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't. Sorry. No. no. No, no. I'm not a Nickelback fan. Don't worry. <laughs> See, it was on. It was on my TV like 24/7, and my mom loves that shit. So yeah, it was kind of shoved in my face, and I I can't mm-hmm. help but like want to rebel against it, you know. No. Oh, yeah. That that's that's. Typical, I'd but, say. But with Kylie Minogue, there's something different, and I I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah I see what you mean. She's just kind of. I've always thought she was really cool. Hmm. Um, <laughs> and she she's on a Nick Cave song. Have you heard that? Um. No, actually. It's. Uh, I think I have. It's yeah, on Murder uh, Ballads. It's on Murder Ballads. Yeah, yeah, it's on the album. Isn't Where it? the wild... Were they together or something? No, no, no. No, no. No, he's been. Oh. He's been with, um, I know he was with PJ Harvey for a while. Yeah, yeah, they were together. I thought there was something between him and Callum Noe, but I don't know why. I mean, it's possible, but like, I'm pretty I'm sure he's a lot older. I don't know. Yeah, but like... <laughs> but... Actually, he probably isn't that much older, I don't know. But he's married now, you know? He's, yeah. He's been married he's for married a while. Now. He's been married for a yeah. while. He's but... great, I love Nick Cave. Oh man, I could, I could get into Nick Cave deeply here, but um... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, Kylie Minogue's cool. I thought she's always been cool, and she kind of stood mm. out for me, and still stands out to me from that pop era. I don't know why. Mm. Why? Why don't you like this album then? What album? Yeah, come on. Oh, U.S. Girls. <laughs> it's a great question. Um, I no, I like it. I just don't think it is. As I keep saying, it doesn't click. It just isn't. That's 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 all really. I uh, no matter mm. how much I okay. listen to it, I'm nothing stands out to me as something I think is interesting enough to like return to it. Right, fair enough. No, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, well what about Raven Lane? Let's talk about Raven Lane. She's she's gonna be big, I think. I haven't heard. Yeah, yeah definitely. I haven't heard it. Unfortunately, yeah. I can't believe she's like. I know. I was like, "What? Why is everyone successful younger than me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, it's it's yeah. horrible now. Again, you like, I don't know how old you are, Ryan. Actually, oh, well, I'm 22. If you want to know, oh, so you're not you're not that yeah. much older than me. No, no. It, it, but it, no. I get what you mean. Like, it's horrible where you see like an artist who is so much more successful and making a lot more money than you and they're younger than you like i remember i loved being in my teens when i could look at these people and say yeah i could be that one day and now i'm like well that's fucked you know might as well get a real job (laughs) (laughs) i always thought i was gonna be an artist but like now i'm like this is fucking real life yeah, this is real life real now, shit. Josh. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> Stop. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, you're a first year. You don't have to worry about this just yet. Anyway. Oh, uh, I. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I am. I am twenty. I'm twenty-one this year. I can't be scared. Oh my scared god, you're the same worried. age as me. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're wow. both equal now. <laughs> yeah. See, I just went straight into university and I was like, head first, I'm going. Mm. I'm off. So, like, now I'm yeah. looking looking at younger people with more money than me and kind of dying inside. Yeah. yeah. It's sad, slightly, isn't it? slightly. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> album that I've that I've loved anyway. Oh yeah, we forgot that too. No, no, it's fine. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like sit in my Joe Budden body. Yeah. Just sort of. Yes. Interrupt anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, man, the new screaming females. You know. That is cool, yeah. I like that a lot. And you know what's weird? Yeah. What's weird about that album is that it's kind of nostalgic. Like, it's kind of... It uses a lot of, like, rock tropes that I think have been almost overused mm. in the past, <clears throat> like, few years. Like, really cringy rock music. Um, yeah. And they've used a lot of those tropes, but for some reason I get past it, and I, I can't quite figure out why. It's just so catchy. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like, there's a few... It's good. It, it's a good album. Yeah, and I saw your review, mm. um, and and completely agree with it. I don't think there was one thing I disagreed with it. Yeah, that's um, cool. I'm glad to hear that. Which is super rare, I will say. <laughs> super rare. He's always wrong. <laughs> it's not. It's not just you. It's pretty much anyone. Like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair. No, I, yeah, it's a cool album. I think it's the vocalist, you know. I think she brings such she a strange, uh, yeah. unique s- style. Uh, did you, have you heard any of their other stuff? Yeah, it's kind. Of, I mean, yeah, the past few albums I wasn't too keen on. I think they were a bit messy. I don't know. Yeah, and this is kind of a return to form. Mm, um, definitely, yeah. Because the first few, maybe the first album, I was. I don't think I was too keen on the second, but the first album was great. I love that album. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I still like that album a lot. Someone is watching their TV, I think it's called, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, something like it's that. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I really like that one. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I'm sort of, you know, listening to on the constant at the moment. Good, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Ryan's good. tired. Ryan's bored of my opinions. I'm just bored of Josh. Like, oh, no, he keeps... <laughs> like, oh, no, no. <laughs> Josh with the fucking Joe Budden shit again. <laughs> Joe Budden, go away. I, no, it's all good. Don't know, maybe I'm warming to the Joe Budden thing. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I don't mind being a cunt. It's it's a gimmick. Yeah. Now, yeah. Confirmed. I'm just going to put it's it on. Gimmick. These aren't my actual <laughs> opinions anymore. I'm just doing it to piss people off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what the internet loves, though. Just over exaggerated reactions to things. Oh, man, yeah. I know. I, c- I can't be like. You know, I can't react to anything more than I genuinely, you know, uh, have an opinion on. You know, I can't, yeah. I can't like go over my actual opinion. I'm always really wary of that. Um, mm-hmm. wary of like if I'm just saying something sucks just to piss people off, or saying something's really good just to get people on my side. You know. Mm. I'm always wary of like those kind of opinions. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Mm-hmm. So should we sort of wrap it up here? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's your podcast, right? <laughs> it's technically yours too. Yeah. I'm third wheeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody can touch mine and Ryan's podcast. We're all... <laughs> Thank you, thank you for having oh, me though. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very... I feel I feel validated. Yeah, no, and honestly, so you it's good. should. Yeah, it's great Th- to have you. Yeah. <laughs> this this <laughs> you is should. this is where people with music music opinions sort of come to feel validated, and and we get... yeah, that's why they're all welcome. We should be handing out stickers. You know, <laughs> you are not you are not real music validated. You are yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank fully you. Fully qualified. That's good. That's, yeah, no, but that's th- th- thanks, thanks, Emily, for coming on. It's yeah. it, it's been cool to sort of chat with you for real rather than yeah, definitely casual. rather than on Twitter. Yeah. yeah, for sure, it's cool. It's really good. It's also good to um have like a female fan too because two percent of my viewers are female. <laughs> oh, here we go. Like I'm, I'm just here as like representation bingo. Yeah, basically. No, <laughs> no, but I just find it like crazy. Like my viewers is two percent yeah. female. It's like oh. Em- Emily, I'll, I'll admit it now. You're the token. We got you on just to represent. <laughs> the token woman. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no, thank thanks you. a lot for coming on. It's cool. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. And uh, thank you for listening. 
viewers. Or five and, of uh, them. Yeah, or five. <laughs> but thank you anyway for sticking around. <laughs> and um, yeah, we will do this again, this podcast again, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> and thank you again, Emily, and uh, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>